New, 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 new. All right, um, this is more of a reminder. These are coming in stock all the time, so sign up and get one when you can. Pi 3B Plus, we got a bunch. We got, we're gonna get more, we're getting more, 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 so sign up. Yeah. Uh, we don't know the exact date, but it should be within yeah, a week or so. Yeah, get all the time. Okay, next up, what's this? This is a product update. This is a very popular NRF52 Feather. People love this. Um, it runs Arduino, it's an, a Cortex M4. Um, NRF52832 chipset in an FCC CE Telex certified module, feather format, or so of feather wings. Um, people love it, battery powered. It, we've made it even better. Uh, we've improved the power usage. We're going to get precise numbers very soon. But historically, the uh, USB to UART um, chip was powered off of the three volt regulator. We've now made it self powered off of USB. So when you disconnect USB, that chip will be um, shut down completely and you'll be able to get even lower power. I think we're gonna have like a, I think it was like three milliamps uh, quiescent before and we'll take it down to under a milliamp when you're in sleep mode. We'll get you exact numbers. But I know some people were waiting and wanted um, better power uh, um, measurements on this device. So I'm letting you know that we have done the update and uh, this is now updated, it's a lower power. Otherwise it's equivalent. Okay. Next up, what's this? This is another update. So um, this is one of our older bonnets, a speaker bonnet with two uh, Max 98735s, I think is the part number. Um, we've updated it. If you go to the next photo, dun da da. It now has the header assembled on the bottom with our slim SMT header. What this means is that you don't need to do any soldering at all if you want to use this. Um, we used to ship it with the header that you'd have to solder on, but now it just plugs into your Raspberry Pi uh, three, two, zero, use it as is. And then if you're using our, um, those speaker, uh, the, the dual speaker set, it just plugs right in. And we also have a terminal block you can solder in if you would like to solder something in, but you don't have to. It is a solder free update, otherwise equivalent. Okay, next up. Okay, now it's time for new products. So this is a servo and PWM bonnet. Um, this features the PCA 9685, you know, my favorite. PWM GPIO expander chip. We've had this in a hat, um, but uh, the hat is a little bit big for a Raspberry Pi Zero. So we've now made it into a bonnet shape, which is the same shape and size as a Raspberry Pi Zero, plugs right on. It works with a Raspberry Pi um, uh, 320, any, anything with the two by 20 header. I'll get my demo together so we can show this off live. Yeah. So give me a second. Oh, you sneak peek of it. Oh, oh, well. yeah. oh, boy. Not too surprising. Um, I'll plug this in. And while it's okay. booting, I can chat about it. Live, live servo. Um, so this is the PCA 9685. It's an I2T to PWM GPIO expander. Um, that means you don't need to worry about precision timing. Uh, Raspberry Pi runs Linux, and Linux, it's, it's not good at precision timing. It's very fast, you can do like HDMI, you can do MP3, you can do a whole bunch of stuff that an Arduino or CircuitPython board can't do, but what it can't do is um, precision PWM timing. So this chip does it all for you. All you have to do is send it um, the pulse widths you want and it will do it automatically. So this is a little demo, just showing, controlling two servos one after the other. Um, power to this uh, bonnet comes from this plug over here. You give it a five volt, power input and you saw the little LED turns on to let you know. Um, you can drive 16 servos, uh, each individual, and you can stack multiple bonnets if you want. Um, you can set the different I2C addresses so you can just connect a whole bunch. Basically it's like a really easy, low cost, great way to connect servos. Also it can just do generic PWM, even though we're using it for servos um, because people tend to like those for robotics and motor control. It's also great for just like plain LEDs. You just want to PWM a bunch of LEDs or maybe you have like some of the robotics or RC control. This will definitely do the job for you. It can run up to 1.6 kilohertz uh, frequency PWM. Um, it's got a polarity protection here, so if you connect it backwards, you don't have to worry about it. All the GPIO are broken out as well, and there's a little spot for an optional capacitor. But other than that, it's super easy. You get four blocks of four, uh, up to 16 servers at a time, and uh, you can get turn in. Works great. We've got Python library all ready to go. It's super easy to use this for your robotics projects. Okay. Leap, the star leap. of the show tonight, besides uh, you, Lady Aiden, or 
community is uh, blinking stuff. It's a long stick. Things are blinking. They're blinking different colors. They're glowing. This is a PCB bar NeoPixel strip um, with side lit LEDs. It's 120 LEDs <coughs> per meter, so it's a lot of LEDs. It's exactly a half a meter long, so you get 60 LEDs because it's 120 LEDs per meter, and there's half a meter. Um, I can hold this up because it's kind of yeah, actually... Do you want to go to the overhead or do you want to go to us? Well, let's go to us first so I can show the... That's nice. It's got a overall length. rainbow wand. So you can see it's side lighting. So if I show it to you, it's just straight on. You can't no see rainbow. it. No rainbow. 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 So this is very, very skinny. Um, you can, in theory, cut it. There's little, like, cut lines, but you, you'll have to use a saw or something. It uses FR4. So it's a little bit flexible, um, which means that if you're using it, you probably want to support it on both ends. But it will, you know, it, it does stand on its own. So maybe if you're making like a rod or, or a decoration or under lighting and you don't want it to bend or buckle, um, this will stay very straight. Yeah. This is a kinder, gentler version of Jedi where they just, they just have rainbows. They're like, hey, let's just be cool. Let's not get in galactic fights. And if you want, you can connect these end to end. I mean, like, you know, you'll have to remove the cable and solder them, but you can make a very, very long yeah. uh, stick. So let me show this. Yeah, one. what is that being driven by? It must be like a giant supercomputer to do all this stuff, right? Oh, no. We got a little Trinket M0 running a Circuit Python. And. Um, I'll know what Circuit Python. Yeah, this shows you. Yeah, you know, because it makes, it makes it easy to run the demo. So you can see the stick. Yeah. Um, if you look closely. You can see there's a little capacitor. Wait, hold on. It's very hard to zoom in. There's a capacitor, the standard, you know, power ground and NeoPixel signal. These are SK6812 Neo NeoPixel compatible. Yeah. Side light, but yeah, very Brick, skinny. Very compact. Perfect for the um, new Barbie Burning Man playset that's coming out. Totally. And then on the end, you've got this, um, they've soldered these connectors on, but you can remove them very easily. You don't have to use them. Um, yeah, it just works with anything that expects NeoPixel. I think it's, you know, it's great if you just want, especially if something that you want rigid, you don't want to have to worry about it um, bending or twisting. Yeah. Um, you know, we were, uh, me and Dean were looking at, you know, he's, he's building like a, a guitar synth type thing, and he's like, well, I need something very skinny. But Yeah, this is perfect for musical instruments. It's something that'll fit into a very yeah. small spot, and you don't have to worry about it. Like if it's a, the Flex PCB, they can bend very easily and they can crack. This is much more durable. So I like this stick. It's a nice stick. So it's a stick of lights. Okay. And with that, Lady Ada, is, you guessed it. That, la, was, la, uh, la. that was new product. New, 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 new. Okay.